But first on the rundown at 530 months after they were announced, most of those speed cameras in Buffalo school zones are up. They're wired and they're being tested. And as two on your sides, Dave McKinley found out the city expects them to go live next month. 14 out of 20 locations have been installed. And along with them, beneath the traditional speed limit signs, are these new ones warning motorists entering select school zones that they are being watched. The city's parking commissioner, whose office is handling the rollout, says the cameras that are up are currently being tested. Which means, you know, the image is going to blink and the camera is going to go off, and um, that's what we're doing right now on those 14 locations. When they are activated, the cameras will take pictures of vehicles traveling 10 miles per hour or more above the school zone speed limit of 15 miles per hour. But it's going to be a while before someone actually gets fined for doing so. Live for the first 30 days means it's, it's a warning violation. As you know, the law says you can't just go live and start. Uh, sending out violations and fines. Uh, so people will be getting notices in the mail. And this is another way, along with the signage, to let everybody know that it's coming. So 30 days from the first day we go, quote unquote, live, then the tickets will be for real. When the law permitting the cameras was signed by the governor in August, it had first been hoped to have them live by late October. But that proved to be a bit ambitious due to what he describes as a somewhat complicated procedure. First, you got to call National Grid to make sure the location is good. Then you install the camera. Then you have the contractor go out there and wire it. Then you have the building department go out there and inspect it. Then you have National Grid hook it up. Now, when they do start writing those tickets, violators face fines of $50. Obviously, there are more schools than there are cameras. The locations picked for this initial phase were based on an analysis of traffic volume, the number of past accidents, and the number of past complaints filed regarding speeders. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.